Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of C3H6 plus O2, which will produce or yield CO2 plus H2O. I already wrote out the chart and all the elements that I see on the left and the right-hand side. The only thing that we have to do is just say how many we have of each. So let's start with the left-hand side. For the carbons, I see that I have three carbons, so I'm going to put a three here. For the hydrogens, I see that I have six hydrogens, so I'm going to put a six here. And then for the oxygens, there's a two here, so I have two oxygens. On the product side, I just see that I have carbon. There's no subscript, which means that there's a one next to it, so I have one carbon. For the hydrogens, here's my hydrogen. There's two of them, so I'm just going to put a two where the hydrogen are. And then just be careful, guys, with the oxygen. There's two places in which there are oxygen in the product side. So I have two oxygens here plus one oxygen here. So two plus one is a total of three oxygens. Let's balance the ones that are easy to balance. Let's start with the carbons. Always work from the lower number to get to the higher number by multiplication. What one times what will get me to three? Yeah, one times three. The number that you state is the coefficient for the compound in which it has the element in there. So I'm going to put a three here. And now that gets rid of this. But you got to be fair. If you put a coefficient in front of a compound, you have to distribute it to both the carbon and the oxygens. So we had a total of three carbons. And now let's see how many total oxygens I have. Keep in mind that we still have to include the oxygen here. So there's now three times two oxygen. So that's a total of six oxygens plus one lonely oxygen. So that's one. Six plus one is a total of seven oxygens. So I'm going to scratch the three. I'm going to put a seven and then we move on. The next one that we can balance easily is the hydrogens. I see that I have six hydrogens and I have two. Two times what will get me to six? Two times three. That number is the coefficient of the element that you're talking about, which is hydrogen. So I'm going to put a three here, but you got to be fair. Whatever number that you place, you have to distribute it to, in this case, the hydrogen and the oxygen again. So let's just work with the hydrogen first. Three times two, just like we said, was the six. So that's balanced. And now how many total oxygens we have? Keep in mind that there's oxygen here. So three times two oxygen, that's six plus, so plus three times one, right? So I have a total of three oxygens. So six plus three is a total of nine oxygens. Okay. Everything else is balanced except for the oxygen, but this is not an easy one to balance because I have a two and I need to get it to a nine. Well, let's, let's just see what number we're going to get. Now there's no whole number that I can multiply by two to get to nine, right? But I know that I have to put the coefficient here. And if we don't know what it is, I'm just going to state that it's X in this case, two times x will get me the total of 9. So 2 times x equals 9. If we just do the simple division to solve for x, I know that I need a 9 over 2 over where the x is. I'm just going to erase that. And I'm just going to say 9 over 2. Now, just be careful. You can never leave a balanced equation with the fraction. So whenever you see a fraction, you're going to multiply the entire equation by the denominator to get that denominator canceled out. So in this case, since the denominator is two, I'm going to multiply everybody by two, which means that all of the coefficients are going to be multiplied by two, just the big numbers, not the, not the subscripts. So like this three, this three, this nine over two, and there's a secret one here. Those are all going to be times by two. So I had one C386, one times two is now a two. Two times nine over twos, the twos will cancel. So you're just left with nine. Two times three is now a total of six. And then two 
times 3 is a total of 6. And now you are balanced. You have your balanced equation. So if I just, you know, make this as a 9 and just see that everything is now balanced, but this is the balanced equation. You have 2 C386s plus 9 O2s, which will yield us 6 CO2s plus 6 H2Os. And you are now balanced. Maybe I can get rid of that. Oop, that's okay. We'll have a blue oxygen there. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, which will help us out. Just gets the word out there that, you know, this service is Zix, exists, exists. Thank you so much. And hope you guys are having a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.